Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you and I can see you and the big sun behind you on the wall. Yes, it's a painting that's there from it. Mm -hmm. He left the body last Friday. Okay. And I would like to ask for your guidance. How, how should you approach this overwhelming grief and and the process I had and just all this experience and how it is, if you could explain um, how it affects the system and and Kundalini. Juliana, he left on Friday, so that would be on the 11th, right? 11th of August. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that would be two days ago. Yeah, so right now your system is, is still adjusting to that. Uh, he's not there physically. So first, the, the body will start to adjust. Your cells of your body will slowly realize, in a sense, that he's not nearby. Since you were also very close with him over the last times, right? Meaning he was near you physically also. That is the first thing. Then it will move into the, into the conceptual. Conceptually, you'll be able to uh, uh, realize or accept that he's not there, the emotional is that which is the most difficult, will take a bit of time. Basically, the system is under shock, although you knew it could happen, but the system is under shock. You can't, you can't sort of write that off immediately. Even if you were very balanced with the Shakti, it would still be like that. The unity consciousness, as it expands in those moments when you're in that state, you know what I mean, like when you're vibrating there, then you won't feel that loss because that oneness will be there with him, even beyond, you know, technically it's the, it's the cells of the body, it's the materiality that actually suffers the most because the cells of the body are the least conscious in the whole system. The awareness to penetrate into the materiality takes the longest, you know, when people have closed the skull and it's, it's, from up to down, it's all inside the system and moving laterally, expanding from here laterally all over. Then it has a chance to move into the materiality and the cells become more conscious. But otherwise, that's the part that's actually missing this the cells more than any other part of the being. So it is important to be in that unity consciousness state because you also can connect with him like this. And I don't mean connect through channeling and leaving the system, but I mean it on a material level, like literally cellular level. Remember, he is not gone actually. It's just that perception. And I know that everyone says this and in the pain, when that pain is there, it's not going to help very much what I'm saying, but it still is like that, that that veil between this and that, between, you know, the state he is in and the state you are in, it's actually a very thin veil and I think you also experience it like that, right? So, you are not alone, anyways you're not alone, you have the soul, the source, and he will definitely connect with you, like, there's no question. Because also, in his case, he hasn't, like, it's only two days, so, It'll take a long time before that whole process happens, where that full full departure, let's say, happens, you know. That's also why I had told him, you know, when he was on the satsang, I had said, when you want to go, you go. Don't think about anybody else. You go and it'll be all right after that, you know. So slowly, you'll it'll, it'll take some time. And with the Kundalini, the surrender kriya, that's now you have to do it, Juliana. Now you have no choice in the next days so that you can bear, you can hold through. You have to hold through now, especially the physical, the body itself, because with the Kundalini active, you'll know that it's the it's the materiality that's missing that materiality. That's how it it is, because otherwise, in your conceptual, you can somehow talk to yourself about it, right? 
the emotional that is less easy. So you're going to have to see these things in that light and always remember that He just isn't... I mean, sometimes it's like this, that one would even want to move a little bit and have a free moment where the person is not around. He's around, it's just the body is not there, that's the thing, you know. So don't feel at all that He's not, He is around. It's just open your self up, let the consciousness expand into the unity consciousness and you'll feel that, oh, He's here, okay. He's there. And also another thing which would interest you, He will also make sure that uh, you are taken care of, not just materially, but in every sense. Because He's quite a wise guy, so He'll know what He has to do. You know what I mean? While I understand that that suffering is there, I mean, one can't, whatever I say is not going to go away so easily. But you also have to remind yourself that He's there. Of course, with a partner it's more intense because the physical will revolt against that person not being around. But don't let the physical do that to you. Go into the unity consciousness, feel the oneness with Him. That's your key. I'm not saying not to cry or not to express the emotions. I'm saying enjoy a different kind of relationship now. It's also something to enjoy. Because we have no choice. He's gone, he's gone, right? But we have the choice to enjoy a relationship and continue it, not just as memory, but as a present tense experience, you know. Right? You you understand what I'm saying? I understand. And he's definitely not gone. When he left the body, um, those of us that were with him, we felt him, you know, come deeper into our hearts and yeah, you know, he's still here and um, the, the last day, the day before, uh, we were blissed out, actually, just in so much love. And he, he spoke about it, like, why do I feel so good? You know, he didn't understand. And then r right before and when he was leaving the body, it was we were just so full of love. And then we, we felt him alive or his light in all of us and then just in everything everywhere and friends of us in other countries felt him and you know he's so connected and he's huge and you know he's in everything so absolutely i feel yeah. that the emotions yeah. kind of trigger kundalini to no 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 this won't happen okay it won't happen it won't happen don't be afraid of anything and especially don't be afraid of being afraid of someone has left. People are trained to be afraid of this, so they feel they have to be afraid. And the whole system moves into that. The fear of being afraid that suddenly he's not around, coming up and down in the emotional, that fear you can just put in the garbage bin. Uh, every time it comes, you say no to it. It's not... Fear is not what is going to connect you with him. And... In fact, it will it will it, it will reduce the connection, and not to be afraid that it will trigger anything in the Kundalini. That I can assure you. Don't worry about that. But you have to do the surrender kriyas, right? You you've learned it. You know it. Do the kriyas. Of course, if the tears are flowing, let it flow. It's all fine. It won't trigger anything. And the only thing is not to have fear. Oh, I'm I'm scared that now something will happen with the Kundalini. It's not going to happen. That I give you my assurance. Yes. Okay, and if anything it is, if there is anything, come on the lives and then you can speak about it. Okay? Namaskar. Thank you. Namaskar. Namaskar.